Previously, we were doing a major cleanup on our land, but now our focus is completing this house so we can move in. So this is gonna be a huge transformation. As we work to complete the shiplap walls in our house, not everything turns out perfectly. We want people to know we built this house. <laughs> but luckily, the completed product in most spaces has us feeling pretty satisfied. I think it turned out looking pretty good. Follow along as we continue the process of closing in all our walls. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a moment of the build. Good morning, we are back on the build. I know last time you saw us, we were doing a huge land cleanup, getting all of the stuff from moving back into our shed. We have done that far enough to make our lives feel good right now. So now we can put all of our focus onto the build. We're actually in a little bit of a race right now to get ready for my parents to come visit for Easter. The last time they saw our house, only our kids' rooms had shiplap on them and we had just started covering the great room with shiplap. So this is gonna be a huge transformation for them to witness. So we're gonna try to get as much done as we can. Today's focus is gonna be doing the last half walls that we need to do up in our loft area. One of those walls is going to be the one that goes above the stove top in our kitchen, but then on the other side of that, we actually have two more half walls that we need to get completed that are part of a little office space that we have there. Once we get those done, the loft space is completely ready for us to call for the L&I inspection on that. And then all we need to get done after all those spaces is our pantry. So we are getting close everyone and I really hope in this episode you get to see us cover all of those spaces in the loft and then all you've got to watch after that of shiplap is our pantry. All right what's the plan? All right we got to do we got to do that half wall behind us but you know what? We, we got to move some trim first. Yeah, we've got some stuff in the way that we got to get moved. <laughs> we had the bright idea to move all of our trim behind this little wall. We had to keep it dry. It was all getting ruined. Like we were going to have no trim left. We were going to have to run it all through a planer if we didn't get it in here and get it dry. All right, so we're up in our loft area. And at uh, first we thought we were going to have to move all of these pieces of trim out because this wall when we have it covered was going to be in the way, but we realized that they can just come out and go over the top. So we can save a little bit of time here. These ones have to be moved, but then our plan is to put shiplap up on this wall. We're going to keep this as an access door so we can keep our Christmas stuff and just extra storage area behind here. And I think that's it. So I think first step is to move these out and then we'll start getting some measurements for this wall and this wall and just kind of get it all complete. Yeah. While Ryan's up there moving all the trim, I'm going to start cutting some of the boards so he can start covering one of the walls. You guys may notice that we're not covering every single wall all the time as we're going through doing this race to finish up the shiplap. And that's because we're just doing what we need to get done to pass our electrical final. Then we will have the county come in and do a walkthrough with us and they'll be going, okay, this, these are the last things you guys need to do before you can have temporary certificate of occupancy. So if you've never built a house, you might be kind of like, why aren't they just finishing this and finishing that? It's because we're trying to get done what we can get done so we can move in. So it's a little bit different than having a house totally built for you and you want every single thing done. We know that we're gonna be in this house and living in it and still doing work on it for quite a while. <laughs> so if you're seeing walls not get covered or spaces not get covered as we go, that's why. And right now I'm gonna start cutting boards for those pieces up there so you guys get to see me in my favorite place and your favorite place to watch me at the chop saw.
am the teacher. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, I know you are recording. No one would even know because they don't know that I'm. Does it fit? It does. I mean, there's a little gap. The trim's gonna cover that. Trim's gonna cover it. <laughs> what are we gonna do when trim doesn't cover stuff? Put trim on our trim. Send it! Should I like kind of... I don't know, don't flip it. Don't like make this? it... Yeah, something like that. Like, just get it, get it come up to me. <laughs> <laughs> it was close. Not athletic. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh! You did it! <laughs> I got it! Perfect. It's a cute little guy. All right, well, it's not beautiful, everybody. I don't know if anybody can see the error that we made. <laughs> it's just we our want, special touch. We want people to know we built this house. <laughs> And if we do it so good, they'll be like, we don't believe you. And we'll be like, no, look at this. We did this wrong. I think once we sand it and stuff too, that won't be as noticeable. Yeah, I think it looks fine. All right. All right, this wall's done-ish. To do a 45, basically right at the edge. Same as Yeah. Do you just want to bust those out quick? I don't know. Okay, I was gonna say, I'm super hungry. <laughs> All in a day's work of being a chicken owner. We are back on the build and we have a full day to take advantage of today on the build. We already went upstairs and finished up the wall that we were working on yesterday when we had to stop before we went and got our kids from school. And now today our goal is to finish the other side of the wall that faces into our kitchen. So I need to pull in some more boards and Ryan is actually upstairs He's gonna cut out a section that he needs to cut out to place our ethernet port, and we're gonna to get to work. All right, as we've shared with you guys a little bit in the past, we're going to put in wired ethernet into the house, and we got some blowback from some people on, you know, why are we doing this? Uh, just use wireless, and we're planning on having wireless, but uh, it seems like the right idea to future-proof our house. Data is only gonna become faster and and streaming is only going to become higher resolution and VR and all that stuff. So it seems like it might be a good idea to at least put in uh, Ethernet. So this wall is going to be an office nook for us and I'm going to put in, uh, we have an Ethernet line ran up here. I have one of these little low voltage boxes so I'm cutting out there so that we can run the wire through there so we'll be able to hook that all up. So I'm going to cut through there, get this set up and then we'll be ready to move on to the other side of this wall. So this pile of shiplap behind us um, took the weather pretty hard. All of its ends that are facing that way got pretty soaked. Got pretty soaked, excuse me. And it also has a lot of ants. Right now it's got little sugar ants. But one summer we did discover that it had bigger ants that we were trying to, you know, kill and get rid of. But there's a lot of little ant pods i don't even know what they are <laughs> they don't seem to damage the wood all that much though so that's a good thing unfortunately the water damage we just don't have time to deal with that with planing and all that but i want to know we have a little debate going on i'm at this point with all of the wood that's gotten damaged that we just burn it like it's done we cut it off burn it ryan is like why don't we save it and then we can plane it and use it for projects in the future what would you do? Because we don't have the space for it right now. We don't have the space for it until we have an outbuilding, which isn't going to happen for 
months from now or maybe a year from now. So let me know. Building a house is not for people who are afraid of bugs and critters. <laughs> commissioned for this hood fan here. I'll talk to him tonight. <laughs> okay, and uh, I have to be here. Is that good? got done with this wall and we knew we had made this mistake but we weren't quite sure how we were going to finish it so let me show you what we had going on this this wall actually wasn't quite plumb so we had to do a little bit of shims here to make it be vertical which meant that this wall behind it ended up being a little bit offset so if you if you see here we got almost like a full inch difference from this wall to this wall so we, we contemplated furring out this whole wall out an inch to make this plane be the whole the same plane. But in the end, we thought that might look kind of weird finishing it. So I think is what we're gonna do is run this up just to the floor level, and then we're gonna put a little one inch piece of trim that kind of caps this transition. And I think it'll look great. I think so too. So. Right, what we need to do right now is figure out how high we need this piece of shiplap to be. And I think we just need to measure up to the bottom of that subfloor and maybe add a half an inch to account for the, the flooring. Okay. And one of the reasons we thought it would be weird if we just furred out this wall is because it comes pretty much flush with our post to where our railing will attach. And we're gonna just put a little piece of finish right there, a little piece of trim. And if we would have furred it out a full inch, it would have been way in front of the post, in case you're wondering why we didn't make that choice. So am I measuring like from the curve to the top of this? Um, either the curve or just the top of the, the top of the tongue. Okay, to the subfloor, it's two inches. Okay, so I'm trying then... to see, and that doesn't even get us though to that next transition, but with a piece of trim and stuff, it'll all be good. Oh, okay. So two and a half inches gets us basically right below this curve. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Let's do this. Let's cut this board. go ahead and cut the board at any point today. <laughs> oh. that, gonna, that gonna be okay? Yeah, I had to clean up your, clean up your sloppy work. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good for what we're trying to do. Yeah, I think, I think it'll be all right. Mm. 
There, now it is perfect. All right, be careful when you flip it. We only get one shot. Okay. Go, and we are flush. I think it turned out looking pretty good. It looks like it's intentional. Yeah. It's like all part of the plan. It was all part of our plan. It's nice when we see little parts, like how we did this in the laundry room too. Yeah. So you start to go, okay. It's like for so long, we keep saying, Trim will fix that. And I think it's gonna yeah. work. I think so far so good. Yeah, <laughs> we're two, two for two. Is that what it is? O for O, two for two? Now we just got, got this to think about. Yeah, call Kyle. Let him know we're ready. Um, that looks good. I like it. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but... It was like the last unfinished wall that we would see each day when you'd walk into the space. Yeah, and now... Now it's finished. Now there's no, no more open framing. Finished-ish. Everything that can be reached <laughs> with a roller still needs to be polyurethane. Yeah, so uh, that's, that's a future us problem. All right, we have one more space that we need to cover with shiplap and it's our pantry. And our pantry is where we hold a lot of tools. And luckily we looked in there and there's not all that much. So we're gonna work on clearing it out and getting the tools out. And some of the stuff is just our railing. So we'll get it out, move it upstairs. And that's one of our next projects. But hopefully we can get this done, knocked out pretty fast too. And then, and then? we're done almost <laughs> with ship lap. Cause all we have to do after that is do this space above us, which will be like, it will be spit spatty spoon. Yeah, so, so fast. fast. <gasps> I really think we're gonna be done with shiplap, maybe by the end of this episode. Hope so. All right, guys, it's the end of an era. We're gonna, I think we're gonna turn this uh, build site into a house here eventually. So we're gonna take down the, whatever that thing's called. We call it the wheel. What's it called? I don't know, a retractable hose reel wheel. Yep, yep. that made this real, made this face camera real good. But yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna take it down. Some of you have been asking like, when's it coming down? finish that portion. We were like, we just want to get as much shiplap done as we can before we're done with it. Hi. Yeah, I know. You'll let me pay you. <laughs>